Joining me right now is Ohio Congressman, Financial Services Committee member, Warren Davidson. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Your Always reaction to, to this you, bill. Maria. Yeah, and now Cinema looks to be about to support it because they are taking out this uh, carried interest tax. Your thoughts? Well, it's better than uh, putting it in, but the, you know she's got some modest wins on taxes. I mean, thankfully, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema have backed the Democrats in the Senate down from where they started with five trillion dollars worth of spending down to eight hundred billion. But it's hardly a win. I mean, most of this is spending on you know Green New Deal climate stuff, massive subsidies and economic distortions, and frankly, you know tax hikes that are going to raise inflation. I mean. All these prices are going to come through. All the extra costs to do infrastructure projects are going to come through. It's going to raise the costs on lots of things, and it's going to distort our economy. Do you think it goes through? I mean, the Congressional Budget Office says that the bill will reduce the federal budget deficits by $102 billion over 10 years. I know you say that the Congressional Budget Office has a history of misses, which is why you are pushing the CBO to show your work act. Tell me about that. Yeah, thank you. So the CBO comes out with these pronouncements and they'll say, oh, well, this is going to save $102 billion. Oh, you know, they don't really provide uh, adequate support. They don't show their models. Uh, so if this was an academic paper, someone would show their work and, you know, it would be peer reviewed and people would say, well, I don't repro reproduce the same result uh, with your assumptions. I get that it's actually going to cost money. One of the biggest misses they had is when they said the federal student loan takeover was going to save $67 billion. And the reality is it's uh, already expected to cost us over $400 billion. So, you know, half a trillion dollar miss. Uh, so those are the things that we shouldn't just take at face value what CBO says. So when you look at other uh, other models, they, they aren't as confident. And one of the biggest things is they'll say, well, it saves a dollar in year 10 uh, and it spends a dollar this year. So it's neutral. Well, no, that's not the same thing. So. Uh, you know, the, the right way to model this would be done in the private sector. And it'd be great to see that uh, analysis able to be done by the data being shown. Well, I mean, Congressman, let's go through some of this spending because you've got $728 billion of new spending, $248 billion for the Obamacare subsidies when removing the three year sunset. You've got $400 billion for the Green New Deal when removing these two year sunsets, and $80 billion for the IRS to double in size, increase audits on America. Uh, what's going on with this IRS change? Is this the same thing that he had in the $5 trillion plan where he wants to get uh, 86,000 new agents? Right. Five infantry divisions worth of IRS agents, and they say they're going to go after 600 billionaires. Wow. They're going after everybody. Uh, and there's a tax in here of, of 3.8 percent on closely held businesses, businesses like the companies I used to own before I ran for Congress, manufacturing companies that employ, you know, most of our workers are working in small and medium sized companies. And a lot of them are, you know, closely held companies, they're going to pay an extra 3.8 percent. They're looking for every way possible to move uh, money out of the economy. And in that sense, they say, we're going to cool the economy off and we're going to help inflation. Um, but yeah, taking it out of your pocket and put it in the government's, that's not going to help people deal with inflation at all. All right. So do you think this goes through? And you, as a Republican, what, are, what can you do about it? If Christian Cinema, you know, signs on to this, they've got their 50 votes. Kamala Harris gets this, as James Freeman wrote the other day, gets the celebrity of going in there and being the, uh, the, the deciding vote. What are, your, what are your thoughts in terms of passage? Well, it'll be sad if it happens. The good news is in the Senate, when they use reconciliation, they get this process called Votorama. So they, they can actually offer amendments. That's uh, one of the nice things about the Senate. So we'll, we'll be uh, working with senators to say, please consider offering this amendment or that. They are planning to work over the weekend. Uh, and then when the House brings it up, it, it won't be subject to amendment uh, in all probability. Normally, Speaker Pelosi just puts it out, probably, you know, we'll get the bill. If it's the standard routine, we'll get the final text at about midnight, and we'll vote on it at about 10 o'clock in the morning, and all the Democrats will follow orders and vote for it. Um, we'll see whether any of the Democrats in the House are actually um, attentive enough to say, you know, I kind of see what's going on here. Well, let's not do this. Wow. Um, but I'd be surprised. Well, well yeah. 
what a, what a way to pass legislation, Congressman. Really incredible. We'll be watching. Thanks very much, uh, Warren Davidson, for joining us this morning.